to do that transformation picture, be able to show myself a couple months from now and a complete different person as in I'm much happier, I feel much healthier, leaner, stronger, with a smile on my face knowing that it was all natural, I did it because I wanted to. Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Huynh and I'm super excited to finally be entering in the 2018 Bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. I personally think it's super awesome that Bodybuilding.com created this search to find people from all around the world to share their love and passion for fitness and to inspire millions across the globe. So before I tell you guys why I want to be on teambodybuilding.com, I think it's important to share with you how I was introduced to the world of bodybuilding. I actually just finished uploading a fitness transformation story slash video on YouTube and that took me about four years to make because it's a story that really hits close to home and is the reason why I do what I do today. So to cut that 26 minutes short into this video, I actually got bullied out of high school. I attended a high school for one year. I got called names like Obesitron, Fat Asian Chain. A lot of the name calling dealt a lot with my weight, dealt with with my ethnicity, the way I dress, the way I look. All of 2013, I was on and off with one program from bodybuilding.com and it was Jamie Easton's Live Fit Trainer. Now it's time to tell you why I want to be on teambb.com. I want to use my own personal experiences, challenges, and wins in order to educate and inspire others to enhance their lives through the foundations of health and fitness. So from being myself an inexperienced gym goer to fitness competitor, personal trainer, and fitness coach, one of the things that I have found people struggle the most is getting started. That's for me, my clients, and just everyone on social media platforms that I see when people ask, what's your biggest struggle? It's getting started and it's finding that thing that clicks for fitness and health to become consistent. And that is how you're going to get results, is consistency. I just remember feeling so lost paying for a gym membership that I never used because the thought of going to the gym was just so terrifying. And that's the reason why I was so inconsistent. Thankfully, with the help of bodybuilding.com, I was able to kind of overcome those fears a little bit. Body space really allowed me a platform and I had this online community of people that I had never met. They would constantly congratulate me on all the workouts that I finished. The amount of love and support I was getting on there from people that I didn't know was just so overwhelming and it kept me going. I build my body because I know what it's like to not take care of it mentally and physically. The fear of constant self-shaming hating myself and my body and feeling so low all the time is what keeps me going. I used to smoke a couple packs of cigarettes and abuse drugs every single week while I was in university. I remember this one time I had a panic attack and fainted and from then on I knew that I really needed to take care of my body. It is important to love yourself and your body because it is your vessel. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> I remember listening to this podcast and someone was saying that our body is our vessel and I guess that's what I'm trying to refer to is that our body is the vessel that we've been given. We've only been given one body on this earth so why not take care of it? I have recently gone into vlogging my daily life and my workouts. I am a content creator. I share a lot of health and fitness content on my social media platforms like Instagram. And Last question, how do I inspire others to build their bodies? Hmm. First off, I have made it my mission to share my story and how fitness saved my life with the world. I would say I inspire others by helping them build confidence, educating them because knowledge is key. Knowledge is power because real results only came for me when not only was I consistent, I was confident, but I had the tools to execute my exercises and workouts and training with proper form and technique. So that is my goal for helping others, is when I post anything in my content, it's of value, it educates, gives them knowledge, helps them build confidence, and inspires them to be the best possible versions of themselves. Because in this world, you are competing with nobody but yourself. You can't compare because everyone's journey is different, and that's something that I share with everyone else. Yeah, I like to keep